Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a gorgeous 1951 five window, all original. You're gonna love checking this one out. It's got the straight six in it, beautiful restoration. She's been done at least three and a half years. The previous owner um, bought it from the gentleman who did do the restoration. So she is drop dead gorgeous. And if you guys wanna check out about 100 pictures of her, Go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We're going to put it up on the left so you can check out the bottom side. We'll get the hood up, check out that. We're going to look at the interior. We're going to show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on your 51 five window investment. So get up here and we'll fire it up. Check this beauty out, man. The chrome is amazing. It all looks brand spanking new. The bumper, even the license plate holder, the trims on the headlights. This paint is slick as can be. Beautiful pinstriping on it. All the glass looks good, and that's what everybody's looking for right there, that fifth window. Look in there. Look at those door jams. We'll take a close look at the interior here in a minute. Now the sideboards, beautiful, nice oak. Looks like we got the, uh, some extra touch-up paint here in the bed. We've got nice oak floor, looks like stainless steel rungs here, all polished up. The paintwork on the bed looks good. Now it's got the original hardware on the gate. You can lower this gate down, you take these chains out. Then you actually use the chains to hold the gate up. You reverse them here, put them in the holes. That actually holds the gate up. Look at the bat. You can, that gate didn't do no work. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are not consignment dealers. In fact, we are the largest dealership that owns all of their inventory. We've got about 210 cars in stock right now. And when we bring them back here to the shop, we inspect them so we can answer all your questions when you call Tom at 248-974-9513. Now let's take a look at that beautiful interior. Check the shine out on the inside of that door. That is smooth as can be. The uh, upholstery here looks good. That's actually like a piece of uh, painted uh, wood, but that, or not wood, but cardboard. That's what they used back in the day. The original tag here. The hinges look like they've been restored. The dash has been nicely painted. Look at the gauges. The lenses are nice and clear. The faces are nicely painted. Good looking steering column. The head, um, headliner looks good. The glass in the back looks good. The seat's in great shape. She's got carpeting on the floor. This is a super truck. All right, this is the point in the video where normally we'd go out and drive the car, but it's crappy weather out there and we're not taking this beautiful truck out there and driving it in the crappy weather. Now look down here on the dash. The gauges are working, the speedo works. She's three on the tree. She's got our turn signals here. The dash is nicely painted, all the chrome looks good, the horn's working, just an amazing truck here. Now if you want to know a little bit more about the truck, call Tom at 248-974-9513. He'll tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your drive. Now stick around because we're going to put it up in the air so you can check out the underside. And we're going to take a look under the hood also and take a look at what's making all that power coming out that tailpipe. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the underside of our 1948 Chevy pickup truck. This thing is pretty dang awesome. You can see the underside of this bed looks like you could show it on the top. You could flip these boards over and it wouldn't, it would pass on notice to everybody else. It's beautiful under here. You can see all the supports for like the, uh, the bed supports and all that stuff. Most of the time these are gone. I mean, if this truck seen any action back in the day, these would have been rotted out, gone, destroyed. This thing looks like it got stuck in a capsule somewhere and never got touched absolutely beautiful I mean and more than likely it's been restored and they did one hell of a job doing it you can see that our brake lines on the back here big old huge brake lines which is very um, 
period for this type of truck and they're in great shape obviously been replaced uh, and you can see our whip holes in the back has been replaced as well the whole brake line all of it the frames in beautiful shape leaf springs big honking truck leaf springs on the thing they look great everything is greasable that's something i love about these trucks everything is serviceable um, you can see we've got new shocks on the thing rear brakes here drums we have been through them they're in good shape looks like they got brand new wheel cylinders on the thing i like to see it um, this is a Torque tube uh, style rear end on this car, or this truck. I believe it is a, um, I want to say Rockwell, but I, I, I believe I'm mistaken. It's a Hotchkiss, I believe, is what this is referred to as. Um, this thing, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, probably a 411 gear. However, there is no way to tell. Um, but it being a truck, 411 was a very common gear with these things. That's more than likely what it is. Um, moving forward of that, you can see, I mean, once again, frame is in beautiful shape. The um, Parking brake is not hooked up. You could hook it up with a little bit of work, but uh, as of right now, it is missing a few components. Uh, gas line looks like it's in beautiful shape. You can see here, brake line continues to be in beautiful shape. Looks like it's got insulated hangers, all good stuff. I like to see that. You can see very few drips or anything like that underneath it. Brand new exhaust on the truck. It's in really good shape. And they've even added the flex pipe here for uh, exhaust movement, maybe to help with some of the vibration in the truck. Um, forward of that, we got a brand new looking master cylinder right here. This is the original type one that would be on the truck and it works fine. The brakes on the truck are all you know, original style to the truck and everything. If it's engineered to work like that, it works just great. You know, when everything is kept and no one is monkey with the system. So I like to see that on this thing and it performs as it should. The transmission in this thing, it is a, um, a Muncie commercial three speed. It's a column shift truck. Um, Muncie commercial three speed transmission. And um, it is in the era. I think it's about two years off, three years off, judging by the date code. However, um, on, I, as far as these trucks go, I'm not certain how long this sort of stuff sat around on the shelf. It very well could be the original one, but I'm not saying for certain. Uh, moving forward of that, this is the underside of our Stoll Bolt 6, and we'll get to that when we get up front, or get um, underneath the hood, I should say. St uh, straight axle in this thing. You got kingpins on either end. Once again, everything is serviceable on this truck. This thing was made to just drive it and drive it and drive it and it was meant to work and because of that everything is greasable and that's why I really love these things. Um, looks like all of our shackles look like they're in great shape. Uh, once again, frame rails look like they're in beautiful shape. We've been through these brakes as well. Everything's in really nice shape. Everything that needed to be replaced was replaced. Whip hoses are beautiful. Brand new shocks in the front. Um, you can see this uh, aftermarket aluminum radiator here kind of poking out. You can see all the sheet metal up in the wheel wells. It's all beautiful on this truck. This thing is almost a brand new 1948 pickup truck. I really love this thing and it's an excellent example of one. Let's check out the wheels and tires. Okay, we have a very period correct looking here uh, tire. You can see that these are, um, where's the size here? Firestones and they are uh, 5.50 16s, which means this is a 16 inch steely rim and you can see the hub cap is absolutely beautiful on the thing. I love the white walls and I really like the accent of this pinstripe going around it. It really sets it off, makes it look very good. Let's go check out the rear. Okay guys, back here we got relatively the same thing here. It looks like they're Firestone tires as well with the same size. Um, and of course the hubcap on this is beautiful. If I didn't mention it before, I'll mention it here. Um, the rear axle in this truck is, they all were, is an open differential rear end. But uh, just to let you know if I didn't mention it underneath so I don't forget to tell you guys about it. Let's check out the stow bolt under the hood. All right guys, under the hood of this thing, Stoll Bolt 6, you heard me say it. I believe this is a 261 in this truck. Oh, it is a 261. We actually just run the numbers on it. Um, the beautiful thing about this, in 1948, they were still using the lower pressure oiling system engine, which would be a scoop oiled rod bearing. This, however, is a 1958 engine, which means this is the high pressure uh, version of this engine. This is uh, the more desirable one. They're a little bit more reliable because, of, of course, you have full um, oil pressure rods on this. Once again, you, these things were the cockroach of the Chevy inline six. You couldn't kill the thing. Um, very good motors, very well designed. And we used, they used this engine or a variation of such from 1928 to 19, I think, 62, if I'm not mistaken. They, this thing had a good long run, and there is a reason for it. It's a very good engine. Um, so like I said, 1958 engine, it is a truck engine, the head actually matches, or I'm sorry, maybe it's a 1959, it was cast late of 1958, so excuse me on that. December of 58 is when this was cast, it's probably a 1959 model year. Needless to say, or uh, anywho, it is a, a high pressure oil motor. Um, you can, I can say that the head on this thing matches the block, um, so there's that going for us. You can see we've got beautiful lines or beautiful plug wires on the thing, really in good shape. Distributor looks like it's brand new. All the lines and the plumbing look like it's brand new. 
Um, intake manifold on this thing is in really good shape. You, and I, as I also said here, you've got this big old honking aluminum radiator here. You can see that there's no fan attached to the motor. There's an electric fan that's been added with you know, a nice well-made wiring harness um, and the electric fan is just key on. You don't got to worry about it as far as your, your old mechanical fans or you'd have to worry about belt squealing and overheating and things of that nature. Um, on top of, I mentioned the intake manifold, on top of that, you can see we've got this uh, Rochester one barrel carburetor. That's exactly what would be on the truck from the factory. It's all in good shape. Looks like our choke is hooked up. Um, let me see here. That right there, this is your steering box here. All of it's in good shape. And the three speed on the column. There's the mechanism for it right there. All the switches look beautiful. The firewall looks beautiful. The um, inner fenders look beautiful. Everything on this truck looks like they did. I mean, they actually took this thing apart and really restored it. This is exactly what I would imagine to see if I was in a showroom in 1948 or 1947 looking to buy a brand new work truck, this is about what I would expect to find. This is the kind of quality that it, that it would have been of, if not even better. This thing is absolutely gorgeous and um, I can't say enough about it. I, I really like this truck, guys. If you'd like to have this thing parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below on that Vanguard Motor Sales. Park this thing in your driveway.